What is up, guys? This is Mudvayne bringing you another video. We've got a quick little uh, treasure hunt video to do today. Uh, just thought I'd bring it to y'all, make it simple, make it easier for you guys that are looking for the treasure maps that haven't been able to find them. This is the Jack Hall Gang treasure maps, one through four, and we're going to run through them real quick and uh, get through this as quickly as possible just so y'all know we are starting out at Caliban seat looking towards the creek bed as you can see uh, I'm gonna try and show you a map location real quick here as you can see I am on top of the mountain right now or the hill whatever you want to call it uh, I am in between the two cliff edges and you're gonna want to go to the one on the right if you're looking towards the water that is as you can see you're pretty close to the horseshoe cove it's uh, just south of you so where you start out in the beginning so that's nice it's not far from camp give y'all just a second to figure this out uh, unfortunately I took a little long time on this map and I didn't take as long on the others so make sure y'all freeze and pause where you need to to find the locations to make it easier for yourselves alright and let's get into this um, you go up the cliff on the right hand side like I stated uh, not that far to the left go up a little bit And once you get down here a little ways, I'm wearing out my guy's energy looking for this place. Uh, it is on the right hand side. It's a little ramp like this as you can see. Um, watch out on the cliffs because you can fall to your death if you're not careful. And on this first ledge jump, you're going to jump from that ledge to the next. Um, make sure you get a little bit of a running start. It helped me to get across without a problem. <coughs> And then once you make this little cliff here, you go up the next cliff as well. And then we are going to drop down that little sled, little edge there. Again, try not to fall because it could kill you. And then you have to worry about doing all this junk all over again. <clears throat> if you get down here, you'll see the little crack on the rock. It'll tell you to search. You search for it. This will find treasure map number two. And then, of course, give you all your... Oh, and it also gives you that pearl necklace, which is kind of cool. Job, lady. And let's move on to the next one. And the next one is going to be up in the north side of the map, where these rock formations are at. It is called Katora Springs, I believe is how you say that. And it's going to be where the water and the steam come out. You know, it's the hot springs or whatever popping out of the water or out of the ground which is pretty cool and those are just to our left I'm gonna show you a quick mark make sure you pause it if you need to just trying to shorten this and take as little of your time as possible to get to you to your pot of gold at the end of this little treasure hunt and there is a rock right here it looks like a little T and if you walk around to the back side of it, it'll have a little search button and you can search and you will find the next step in this treasure hunt. There's actually four sections of this map, so this treasure map, so it takes a few, a few minutes to get it all done. Then we're going to head up north to Okra's Run and then you're going to be going to the larger island in the middle. The water is pretty frigid, so it will kill your character if you try to do this without, uh, probably without a potion. You might be able to do it with a potion or not, but I didn't even try. I just uh, grabbed the canoe that is at the cabin over on the right side of this pond, and it made my life a lot easier. Uh, once you get situated over here, you can jump off, jump off the ledge, as you can see. <laughs> And if you stay on that first little ledge, you'll see it says examine the rock, and it's like a little pocket in the rock that is holding your treasure, your pot of gold. And once you get your two gold bars, you can take it to the fence at your leisure, and each bar is worth $500, which is pretty convenient. 
nice and helpful. As you can see, that water definitely does affect you. So I put on a potion just to protect my health so I didn't die. Um, I hope this guy this guide helps a little bit, guys, and shows y'all enough of what you need to find. And we will see you in the next one.